So apparently, the best way to catch games, if you want to watch some good games, is to just sit in the lobby <laughs> with the filters turned on for running games, and uh, look what pops up. This is going to be the deciding match here between a little bit of drama in the Steel Division Discord recently, whether or not Panzalea is as good as Stardex says it is, uh, and dominates, quote-unquote, at every range. <clears throat> Well, so, interesting start we've got going on here. Two leaders. Nope, one leader. Two staghounds. <laughs> Puma coming up. Going to be very dangerous there. Only a Sherman and a Stewart here, but it looks like, uh... <laughs> yeah. Sir Daniels is not even going to contest this. Which is clearly a good idea. Uh, Pazzolet is going to get there quicker. And Martyr and Martyr 3. Or uh, Gorilla and Martyr 3 are not really going to... Uh, be anything to stop <laughs> this, uh... Or, it, or there's nothing here to stop uh, Gilda and a Martyr 3, right? Ooh, but the Puma here with two stars does snipe a Willies. Is probably going to snipe the Staghound Mark 2 as well and just going to completely stop all these units from getting, getting on the hill. Yeah. Second Mark 2 does have a little bit less range, I do believe. Uh, it's in like 1250 meter range. With a 76.2 millimeter HE. Oh, that's the HE shell thrower. <laughs> so it doesn't even have a AP capability. That's a little short gun there. Great infantry sport, not so much for killing things. And of course, Puma. Doing exactly what it's good at, sniping units there. Ooh, might actually find something to snipe here, if it's not careful. Uh, and the Martyr 3 is actually going to be coming up here now. Not sure it's really needed. Uh, generally, if you've got the Panzer Strike units in these uh, positions here, it, this range that from cresting the hill to go down is perfect Panzer Strike range, and there's just nothing to be done there. Puma does manage to find a snipe there, so 13-11 off the start. This Panzer Strike Entity is also going to get into a perfect position here as this, all these units have to really be forced to get back, and now the half track's going to be a ton of problem as well as the Panzer Strike itself in the medium range. Puma does go down to the Sherman 3, though. Does guys just get a penetration, so Martyr might be looking for a sneaky little kill there. <clears throat> and yeah, Panzer Strike Entity is not really in the hills. This is going to force a lot of these units back, though. And now, even with their MGs here, or just the MGs, uh, those Calendar of Examics do have to watch out. Might just get away into the forest, but nope. On the sites are going to get right on target. Murder 3 as well. Kind of be aiming. And uh, looking for that. And does have to be a little bit careful. But now we'll see here. One of the big things that was argued about was uh, the use of Panzer IVs in Panzer there. And the Martyr does have a little bit of a use in that case. Uh, but I think it's just too... Mm, it's not very good at assaulting, we'll put it that way. And when you've got something that isn't good at assaulting, right, uh, you do have to be very careful with how you use it. Like a Yapanza 4 would be much better in this kind of a position just because the Sherman 3 wouldn't have any any way to deal with it, really. Meanwhile, the Martyr gets looked at and it dies. And if it's moving, the Sherman can pop up, right? Or if the Sherman... If the Martyr's moving and the Sherman's not, the Sherman's just going to aim way, way, way quicker. Um, so really, I prefer these Panzer Strike Canadians almost to come forward and pop it rather than the Martyr trying to do it. But, 40 to 10 for now, so good start for Stardeck here. This position is rather precarious, though, single Canadia. No real reinforcements coming for that either. The units down here did manage to get up there, despite the single transport snipe here. And yeah, looks like the other SPW did, or the Puma did eventually go down. Like it's six pounder there. Still alive though, SBW versus Stewart. Uh, the Stewart might actually lose this. <laughs> Apparently not. Did get the managed to get that penetrating hit on that. Uh, the SPW does have the penetration to deal with the Stewart though, so you have to be a little bit careful when using them. And yeah, now that Panzer and DSR are gonna be moving back up. Stewart and Sherman definitely have to be careful here. Murder as well, not in a bad position. Does have to be a little bit careful of the diggers. Uh, Panzer Strike. Would have liked to see it almost in the green cover here. As uh, leaving it out in the yellow cover here does leave it open to flying through stewards and such. And of course, doesn't manage to even beat the Brens there. But yeah, Marta does kill something. The Panzer Strike kind of deals. Or, well, the half tracks go down for the time being. But some went down the road here to the Martyr as well. And this Digger's Piet is just going to get absolutely plastered. Dual MGs, one of them. Uh, two star there. Very, very dangerous, sir. 
Oop. Sherman Rose Panzer three. Sorry, it doesn't see it, so we're not going to be able to get involved. But the uh, Cuts Four is coming up, and no matter what uh, Sir Daniels does, well, potentially can bring in Wolverine. See how that'll do it. Uh, to deal with the Egg Panzer Four, but the Egg Panzer Four might be able to get into position to kill the Sherman just quick enough to avoid the Martyr. And of course, the Martyr, 750 meter range. Oop. It's shooting at the Sherman now. Uh, but it's taking firing shots itself. Hopefully, not from this. This might actually just be shooting HE. Ooh. Yeah, it's shooting HE. So the Sherman goes down. And now the Martyr's going to have free reign to kill the Wolverine. Ooh, but yeah, it's going to. Aimed at and killed, shot at by the Sherman. But the Sherman goes down as well. Wow, unlucky there. So the Martyr now really paying itself off, having killed two tanks. And uh, is now going to be taking shots at the Wolverine as well. If the Ekpanzer 4 gets involved, that'll be really dangerous. Uh, because the Wolverine, of course, will prioritize the Ekpanzer 4 as a target. Uh, unless it's it's specifically targeting the, the Martyr, which is what you need to do there in that case. But now you got a one star Yak Panzer 4 sitting up here in these Wolverines. They can't even get close, right? Stuart Sherman 4. Gonna have to move to the middle here. What's it gonna do? It does get uh, cleared out, but this is a fairly commanding presence down here now. Just a couple of Caledromics and Opalites here to really <laughs> fight off against this onslaught. Second Puma coming in here now, or third, I guess, technically, <laughs> as the Peasant 3 does manage to finish capture this flag back. This flag's very superficial. Um, we're also looking for shots on these six panels. I gotta bring in Recon for that. Nice idea to bring it with a half track. The half tracks do only cost five points now, so don't think worth it. And this fight in the town here also seems to be going relatively in the favor of Stardeck. Uh, the Shell Pioneers were buffed recently. And another Martyr 3 here. Mm, not sure if I like the Martyr 3 against the Servant again to the town, but certainly can do a lot of damage there. And the Punzer Strike Kennedy is, of course, he just wouldn't move the Punzer Strike Kennedy forward. Oh, could have popped that Sherman, no problem there. It's the power of that Punzer Strike. Really, the power of Leia, right? Ooh, but 17 pounder. <laughs> well, that's something that Leia only really has a counter to in the form of Grille. Ooh, does bounce against the Egg Panzer 4, though. And it's not going to be forced to move, though. It's going to keep a lot of units off the top of this hill, though, for Stardeck. Like, for example, um,. Any units that come in, and now the Gilda is gonna have to either fire position that from somewhere over here, right? Or a Panther's gonna have to be brought in for that, specifically. Gilda versus Stagon Mark II, though. HE versus HE. <laughs> Bigger HE wins, I suppose. Kinda have to be pulling that back. This Gilda also dies, wow, to something. The Sherman here on this road. Uh, I wonder if it was set to fire position down here, and then the fire position order was just done wrong, right? <laughs> Martyr actually backing up. Ooh, that's going to be dangerous. Depends entirely on the range here. What if this Martyr... Yeah, look at this. Ooh, the Martyr's actually got to be able to... <laughs> allowed to turn around. The Sherman didn't see it for forever. But now gets the kill right away. Right? And you saw how much longer the Martyr really was on target there. Like a Panzer IV. That would have been... Already had its first shot off. And if the Uplights didn't spot it, of course, the Martyr might still have gotten the jump on it. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, it's just like... The Martyr in the offensive role, not exactly great or good <laughs> or anything in that regards, right? Uh, you would have to re have reversed it, right, and then moved it forward. So reverse it all the way back, move it forward. That's how you fight with a tank destroyer. And it's not something you would know unless you're, well, a tanker or uh, in some other way <laughs> informed with armored warfare, right? But it is very hard, certainly, to contend with. Really good push down here, though. This Yak Plaza 4 is finally going to capture the, these flags here. And also going to exert influence over these stewards. And bring it back to 12-12 for the time being. Yeah. Everything working up in the north. Uh, these uplights, though, great amount of damage here. And the show pioneer, oof, just barely doesn't see these uplights. Could do a real big number on them. But, uh, yeah. No Panzer fours, of course. I wonder if we're going to see another Martyr. Technically, at one star, hmm, those might have been uh, 3Ms. Those might have been the Pack 40 mortar Martyrs, so there might have only been two at one star. That's uh, <laughs> the Mortar. Great job pinning down that unit to get it to surrender there. 13 to 11. More diggers coming in. Sherman 4, position firing the Flak 41. Definitely a good idea what you got to do there. And now these units are pushing on the here. Two up lights coming in. Deck Panzer 4. Uh, theoretically, could be just kind of sitting here, right, where it does have cover. And just a little bit of line of sight on this road. 
to prevent op lights from getting any further, but it is going to be very hard to protect against these units, especially once these Panzer Strike Chemicals are entrenched, right? Because you want, you'll have to use tanks or something to dig them out, which is not really going to be possible. Sherman B, 1B though, it's the HE shell. It actually dies to the Yakpanzer here, and now it's going to kill the Steward as well, really dominating the open range down south here. Black 41 is forced to fall back though. Opalite's doing a great job holding onto these flags. Uh, the units of Stardeck are looking kind of uh, flaky here, but as long as this mortar is really going to continue providing good fire support, there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Strike on Bar 2s are a little bit of a concern, but once some more Panzer Strike Canadians come in, should be fine. There is only one showing up for now though. <coughs> Wolverine did make it up on top of this hill. But there's enough play I have, so the Yakmanza 4 would be able to stop it. And I would give the benefit to the Yakmanza 4 just because of the armor difference there. Right? Because it finally gets forward. And uh, Yakmanza 4 did go down here, to, probably likely to the 17 pounder. But now the Gila is going to finish that off. Misses from the 17 pounder due to the stress. It's going to die. Ooh, now Puma versus Stuart 4. It comes down to veterancy, I think, here. The Puma might get his final shot up, but the Stuart does as well. Ooh, and actually a bounce there from the Puma. Unfortunate, as the Krillin now is going to force unload all these units, and there's no tank really to deal with this. 17 pounder coming up from here, though, and that's a good position for it as well. Um, though, really likes the range for this Krillin, right? You do kind of want it a little bit further forward, because if the Krillin can stay just outside of the 2k kilometer range, it can just fire position the 17 pounder. And yeah, no, fucking wolf coming in here, <laughs> as the Sherman wouldn't be continues to fire on this. Got the Sherman here now. Doing a good job at preventing this from moving forward, but potentially fire position here. These things have a lot of ammo, and it's going to be doing a good job pinning down these units and providing a lot of uh, damage onto them. No attempt in the middle either. We're both still moving around, uh, but as long as this kill is firing here, <laughs> these units are pretty much dead. Thankfully, though, for Sir Daniels, all the units down south here have also pretty much died. But, Flak 41 now is going to get on the side of that Wolverine, that's not what you want to see. It does miss the first shot. Uh, but the Wolverine is going to spend forever moving. And wow, missed the second shot as well. She's actually firing at the Galilla now. But that's going to go down, no, no doubt about it. <laughs> really? Really? Wow. Is it going to get another shot off? I think it will. Man. Flak 41s. <laughs> How inconsistent. In its killing power, right? At 2k, well, I'll hit every time. And then, <laughs> when you need them to hit at 500 meter range there, well, I guess it was more like a thousand. Uh, no no go there. Quite annoying. So really, it's already likely going to be looking for some kind of engagement in this town. And, well, once again, Shermans aren't dangerous, but this could, uh, ooh. Yeah, that's uh, well within the range of that Sherman. <laughs> Not what you want to be doing. Your fire position order is not going to be that great there, and the Panzer Strike Grenadiers are being used like regular Panzer Strikes, right? You want them, you want them in forward so you can make use of the Panzer Strikes, not out back. And uh, there's another one coming in together with the Yak Panzer Four. Yak Panzer Four really be what you want to be looking for here, but the mortar almost going to be forced to move back here, as it is going to be firing again at this infantry. Now the infantry is being whittled down, but so is the infantry of Stardeg. And uh, well. <laughs> This position, which was looking quite blue, is now looking rather empty, I will say. And yeah, we see the Gilda force back the 17 pounder here. As two 25 pounders are going to come in to try and deal with that, or at least deal with the 88 here. 88 might actually move it so forward enough to start firing at that bow, which would be relatively funny there. After X as well. Oop, the Akfans of 4 versus the 17 pounder, though. And yeah, the 17 pounder is definitely going to win. Definitely has the accuracy for that range. And unlike an 88, doesn't take the mass amount of uh, uh what's it called? <laughs> HE damage, right? 88, oop, versus Sherman 1B in the north here, though. Uh, it only needs one more shot, I think. It does go down, so 88 survives, Sherman goes down. And now more gun and are coming forward. SEKFZ, almost running out of ammo, but now the big boy's coming in. The nib of Effa, and the nib of Effa just has to like look at this flag, and it'll kill probably likely the Sherman, the Digger's Piet, and all sorts of stuff, which really not what you want to do. Oop! Wow! 
The Spitfire. Wow. That's funny. It actually goes down. What? To what? Oh, to these staghounds. Yeah. Jeez. So the Spitfire. <laughs> Amazing resilience. Somehow tanks two shots to the face. Oh, man. And I think let's just continue to fire at this infantry. Sniper versus 88, though. That's going to have to fall back, but uh, I don't think it's going to be for able to do that. Um, the only really saving grace here, I think, would be if this sniper doesn't move forward and the Sun Baffa did move forward and smoked off this 88, I think it might be able to survive then. Kill the kind of fire one of its last shells, though. At <laughs> the Wolverine, it actually kills it. Wow. Jeez. Power of HE, right? Two star fucking blue <laughs> with the HE rockets coming in for that. And there's no AA here either. Gonna be bringing it around down south, but there's no AA over here either, so you're gonna have to do something. And Spitfire, oop. Jeez, the turning radius on that. And does shoot it down. Yeah. Freaking turning radius on Spitfires is absolutely amazing. Sir Daniels definitely knows what he's doing. I guess they are playing with league rules, right? 50 minute time limit. So Sir Daniels does have to create some kind of a push here. But yeah. And pushing that on that flag. And they might just clip the Sherman, but that might be all that it's looking for. For to rush into half track and surrender. Or even the Siak Bunsa 4 here. And that'd be another flag to start at. Which would not be great for Sir Daniels, that's for certain. Really, I like CQC infantry, though. Uh, it does mean Leia has to be a little bit careful here. The Opalites will destroy things like Pensacola, I guess. Mm, well, they're not that great against uh, Pioneers and stuff like that. Or even Fun Baffas here. Uh, they're not, like, amazing either. 250-9, doing good to pin down all this infantry as it tries to move forward as well. And, yeah, not dedicated CQC infantry, dedicated CQC infantry here. We'll do fine. But it's really a dual role of these uh, units that makes them so powerful. Puma coming in to read forces. I don't know what you expect the Puma to be able to do here, though. Uh, now that this area's been cleared out, uh, Sir Daniels, surprisingly, has a clear way back onto this hill. Yeah. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Has the Nibivef uh, has failed to fire at the right time. SPW here, moving forward. This should be able to kill it. Let's just HQ here, All right? Yeah, Sherman moving back just in time there. He's gonna pin down the motor as rifles leader, and the Shrimp Pioneer is gonna come in and quote unquote try and surrender things, right? It is good to follow it up, but uh, there's nothing to follow it up really. Mortar as well, <laughs> multiple shots coming in for these Opalites. So, flag has been going into Stardex Flavor, but now Spitfire is coming in. Uh, they are 420 mils. They do have the killing power to kill those. But now, two Star Fuck Wolves coming in. Taking a head on against the one Spitfire. Ooh, the second one. Yeah, it's the turning circle of those Spitfires. But now, Fuck Wolves gonna <laughs> delete that Baltimore. Uh. And now, this one's got... This Fuck Wolves got a problem. Theoretically, though, uh, Spitfires are slow. You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be trying to turn away from it, right? The Spitfire is gonna outturn you. Nine times out of ten. Uh... Another one of those things that you maybe only get if, you, if you're a gigantic historical nerd, but hoping for the... This one, yeah, doesn't quite manage to get on the tail quick enough to save that Pokemon move. Yeah, trying to bait it for this one. But, yeah, unfortunate there. Panther 8 coming out. Hopefully going to be providing a lot more fire support here into the center position, which is really needed now. Opalites and snipers and stuff like that sitting here. Really unfortunate, though, that this flag has been in Sir Daniel's hands for so long, because otherwise he would have been ticked this entire time. Why do you give him to start the buffer he needs, but two punches like an idiot are going to have to come up to reinforce this. Uh, this only the good here, and the Opalites are actually going to get into position. The single health still by here, seeing a punch strike are not going to be able to prevent that. Yeah, the other two Wolverines might actually uh, kill these. Punch strike and just coming in. <laughs> Nibu Vafa. Funny. Wasn't really in position to reload, and now the mortar is actually taking advantage of the overblue munition for the Nibivaf as well. Yeah, I wonder if it came in with a. Um... No way, did that Spitfire drop on the supply truck? Normally these come with Opal Blitz uh, or munitions, right? Not Opal Blitz munitions, what are they called? Maltia munitions. I don't see a dead Maltia carcass though in this forest. So, <laughs> I guess it did just bring it in on its lonesome, which is also. A uh, fair tactic, but... Oh, up lights. A little grenade there on the Ponzo Strike gonna use. Not even what you want to be seeing, but... Gets away with it for now. Yeah, Wolverine's a little bit slow. <laughs> Panzer IV. Wow, look at that. You did bring Panzer IVs and B. What a surprise. Puma should come forward and... Kill that Stuart. But there's a 70-pounder there. And the 70-pounder is just gonna be able to... 
delete things, right? You're gonna have to bring in an aircraft for that or something. Does see it though, thanks to the elf clan, I believe, so. Now we see the rocket plane coming in. But Stardeck and his high veterancy planes, right? Nothing like good old Shidran gameplay with high veterancy fuckos. Not really paying off for the Spitfires. Well, the Spitfires as well have uh, been kind of going down here. And the Punzer Strike Engineers do at least get in a position here, so the Warriors do have to be a little bit careful. Now the Naval Vaffer coming in, this one comes in with an all-tier munition. Yeah. These two units now, well, the 17 pounder has been gone. Are they going to be able to clear up the Stuart? 45 pounders did their job as well, so not going to be needed there. <laughs> Actually, putting the Panzer Grenadiers back in the uh, half tracks here. Uh, Tactically, that Sardic does like to use quite a bit. That's <laughs> the Kula desperately runs away. Wolverine actually just firing at these infantry units. Field engineers coming for here, though. The Panther is blind, and the 17 pounder is going to be able to see it. All right? Oh, man. Field engineers. Oop, Panzer 3. Daniel's in his uh, old meta. Ooh, 70 pounder snipes the Puma though. Nice shot there. And this Panzer 3 as well, if he's not careful. Yeah, that's gonna go down. Danger of that 2k HE. Did manage to uh, put a lot of units into the center position though. There is another Sherman coming in. Yeah, Panzer 4, no leader. Hmm. Is basically an invulnerable to the Sherman's gun though, so can basically face hug it. And as long as the Sherman's don't get alongside of it, should be fairly safe. We go as well. Being able to provide fire support down this road, as long as the Sherman hop up down here at the 1500 meter range and kill it, you can fire position all the way down here and get some wonderful HE damage under these units. However, well, he's off map, 144 millimeter. Not one of the great tools that uh, happens to be in the possession of. Uh, second New Zealand here, and yeah, you'll have to hey, excuse me a little bit for uh, the inability to speed up. I once again caught a live game. <laughs> Man, I have no wheel to pause at this time. Back forty. I don't know what's this. Shit. Yeah, just these op lights, and this off map's gotta be very deadly. There's only a couple things in here, but Stone Pioneer. And Panzer Grenadier, like they're going to go down, that's the only real infantry that is left down here. Well, the Panzer Strike Grenadier is coming down, and likely it's going to avoid the off-map. And then the Nibbevaffa potentially can also uh, kill these. But really what Starnik isn't taking advantage of here is the fact that he's got the church, right? The Stone Pioneer getting shot up by Shermans, though. Potentially you might give the Nibbevaffa a target, but if you had some kind of recon on this church, you'd be able to see all this, basically. Maybe not some of the Opalites, but you'd definitely be able to see the Shermans, the AA, and the uh, Willie's off-map, so... Would definitely be worth it, but now op lights coming in. Doesn't even matter that they don't have any AT. Uh, the Shermans are gonna follow up that up, no problem. And Sardic is gonna have a little bit of a problem on his hands, though. The 300 millimeter off map, or 300 off map, <laughs> might as well be an off map, I suppose. Ooh, Sherman or Panzer IV though gets the driver killed though. The Wolverine does manage to aim it faster, but it does go down there. And the Panther now versus two 17 pounders, gonna have to get out of there. And yeah, the suppression on that. Did do its job, so it does give Star Deck back this flag temporarily. And potentially this punch strike enemy might be able to run forward and uh, get on target there. It is looking fairly low health though, and the Oplites are going to come in to regain that flag again. And the MG42 here now. It's actually going to go down to these Oplites unless it kills at first. Uh, oh, but Panther does take a penetration now. <laughs> this Simpson Pounder kills that Martyr 3. And yeah, finally moving the. Panther A, but looks like it's just simply had a side shot or something there. Maybe it's just frontal penetration and the Panther goes down, which is uh, this page of the game, right? We are 25 minutes halfway through the game. Very, very deadly. And of course, the Willie's off map here. I would bet this is a B phase card. This pain isn't going to end anytime soon. And of course, Maverick versus Maverick off map in later phases is one of the most dangerous tools you can bring. Of course, it's really the trade off between uh, bringing an early off map, which I like to do. And bringing a later off map, which you know, Sir Daniels likes to do, for instance, um, because with an early off map, you can really start to put a, uh, put a disparity on the initial 750 points, which can lead you throughout the entire game to have an income advantage. But the alternative to that would be bringing it in the later games. And if you do find yourself into this kind of a stalemate, the off map's ability to just kill units in later stages is just very, very important. Right? All these infantry units going down. Sherman's moving forward. Yeah, Pencil's not being used efficiently here. Uh, Sherman's going to be able to clear up those half-tracks, no problem. 
And more Panzer Grenadiers are being come in, but these aren't cheap units, right? These are 35 points a piece. And yeah, they're two star, which is <laughs> superb. Uh, not really quite what's needed at this point. Yeah, Panzer 3 goes down. One more 17 pounders firing. Maybe Vafa going to make its way here. Panzer 4. <laughs> Ugh. Wow. Okay, so they do start Panzer 4. Wolverine does have to be a little bit careful, but actually, if this is shooting at the wrong target, and the Sewer 5, of course, has the gun at this kind of a range to penetrate the Panzer 4, no problem. And it already took a penetration earlier, so. Yeah. Dad. Beautiful rock barrage there. 17 pounders. One of them goes down. The other one doesn't. So, the other one's going to be able to stick around for a while longer, but now there's no tanks down south here either. And, uh, yeah. It's going to be a wonder whether or not Stardust can really take advantage of this. Hey, somehow, despite all this off map, uh, Stardust has managed to keep control of the town for the time being. I and mean, the Panzer Kennedy does not get a Panzer Strike onto that. Being forced to fall back now, or should be forced to fall back now, as these Opalites are just going to be charging forward. Sniper, of course, as well. We can get to pin down all that. And yeah. Definitely a bit of a late fallback there. Three more Opalites, though, coming in for this position. There's only really here to counter this. The Stuart forward from the side. Yeah, lots of more Puzzle Strike enemies coming in, but the Stuart's just going to be able to prevent that. There's no Wolverine. Well, Wolverine's been moving back, but. You still kind of put tanks on here and prevent this reinforcement. Run. In fact, I would probably have rushed this uh, Stuart forward trying to look for this multi-air munitions, right? At this phase of the game, you do have to play a little bit aggressive, but not so aggressive that you are losing units. And now, Panzer Strike Entity is in half tracks. One of the things that these Oplates don't have is Piats. <clears throat> and if you don't have any Piats, well, you can't... Uh... <laughs> What's it called? You can't friggin' fight back in your guard. <laughs> Ugh. Against half tracks. Black 38. Took a while for more A to come out, but not like Sir Daniels was really spamming the Air Force of this. And yeah, now we see that the Stuart's coming in. These uh, Panzer Strike Indians are very much in trouble. And now the Oplites are going to come out on this hill. 14 to 10, 15 to 9. This much time remaining should be more than enough to do it. So. Got to be wondering here, especially with the sniper on the flank here. Wow, that is some line of sight trickery right there. I wonder. Oh, this has been fired position again, and it's just moving now. Unfortunate there. Six pounder might be uh, come forward to deal with that though. But as long as the infantry actually is here to spot it, the guild might actually get the shot as the six pounder is setting up, and uh, that'll be very dangerous. Killer command coming in. It is a 15-9 now. These field engineers and oplites are going to get into this position, and there's nothing else to be done here, really. They are going to have to hope this new Vefa uh, can fire into this position and then the Flum Vefa to surrender it all, but they're just going to be sitting here. They're not even trying to attack this forest, really. And I would wager that Stardeck doesn't have a ton of CQC infantry left. 81 millimeter mortar, no radio done south again, so. Sherman 3 is going to do that, and this flag is only being held by a half-track, so the Sherman should be able to just move forward and kill it, no problem. Ooh, the Arc 4, though. Ha! <laughs> Immediately goes out of a side shot. You know, would love to see it. And, yeah. It's fun to have year. Oh, two munitions. One of the Panzer Strike Indians. Oh, no, they're still right. But they're not going to be able to fight that Stuart, as long as that's still sitting there. Uh, Peck 40 coming up to try and kill it. There is still a chance here. This new FFA, they can do a lot of work. Surprising to see, there's not going to use more of it, but <laughs> the supply truck has actually been sucked up by this uh, 81mm mortar this entire time. It's like the Sherman doesn't move, though. That'll be some juicy shot, though. Only three shells. We'll have to see if that pays off. And this one, as well, might be worth firing in this kind of a position. All right. Impossible to know here without recon looking at it. Ooh, but the sniper now. <laughs> Snipers can still fire in 100 meter range, but they still do that crazy amount of suppression, so. Despite that, it does go down. Uh, Pack 40 looking for the Stuart, but doesn't quite find it. Might actually find the Wolverine before it finds the Stuart. Uh, and there goes the Puts Chicken idea. Or just about. Actually, gonna be using this to kill it. it does go down. 
and uh, it's left on two health there. Please don't tell me you're shooting HE. Nope, AP. Let's get the Wolverine. Gonna be trying to use this to clear this out. I don't know, I would try to use it on these uh, Opalites, but... <clears throat> Each their own, I suppose. Once again, these two flags are being held just by half-tracks, and uh, there's a little bit of time here. But more Opalites coming in, more field engineers again. Nothing with AT. The Niv Eva did go off, and uh, did kill the six-pounder, but not the Sherman. So, potentially, Panzerschreck could just come in and kill that. Yeah, crazy to see no infantry with a uh, AT, really. You'd, th you'd think you'd have, like, one card at Dayers or something, at least, right? Just spamming these Opalites out is a uh, confusing decision, that's for certain. Pencil 4 coming up. The uh, Navy Alpha was aiming over here. Or did aim over here, did kill this, and now the Panzer Grenadiers can move forward, but there's still a ton of op lights. And without their half tracks, another Wolverine coming in as well, and with a six pounder coming up to kill tanks and stuff like that, another armor that are coming in to reinforce. I'm not sure Stardeck has much to look forward to. New one millimeter mortar. Again on the op lights. Panzer Strike Grenadier. Gonna be hopping back at the. Half track, but actually the TNT goes off and forces that to unload anyway. Wow, actually that might have been just purposeful micro to get those fuel engineers out of the way. But of course Thompson's running with fire? Wow. Oh no, it's the uplights that's doing the damage there. Yeah. Is there, if I was gonna pin on all these units, but now there's just like two star uh, grenadier and yeah. Once again, firing in the middle. There's nothing in the middle. He's only firing a couple shots anyway. For some reason. <laughs> More Panzer Grenadiers coming in. Looks like he's got to take over to the other side now. Panzer Shrek Grenadier as well. Again, these Opalites do do wonders in the close range combat against Panzer Shrek Grenadiers. If only if it wasn't for these half tracks, right? Alright, Wager Sardinia still has a couple more Shermans. These are just one star Shermans, so there should be like eight in the deck. We certainly haven't seen that many go down. Yeah, two half tracks though. Sherman does have to be a little bit careful, as I said, due to kinds of tracks in the forest, right? But yeah, these buildings are all deleted and no longer providing the kind of cover that you need. Might actually just be worth running these forward to get their little uh, infantry hand grenades that they have against half tracks in. And, yeah, this is, that's going to just fall down. That's going to be going. Uh, this pun's a good idea. It's not going to be able to get up here. The uh, Nav Alpha put a return fire for this position. There's nothing here for the time being. Panzer IV is exerting some influence, but not going to be enough to kill two Wolverines, I would wager. And now the 10 4 is actually being shot at as well. Panzer IV coming in. Potentially for the Sherman. Panzer Schreck. Yeah. 17 powder. Could move forward and kill this killer, actually. I would wager. Yeah, too little, too late for that. <laughs> and Stardex surrenders. 3,325 kills to 2,805. Excellent game to Sir Daniels. And, uh, yeah, wow, look at this Sherman. <laughs> Did that survive the entire game? Jeez. So much for Stardex martyr superiority, I suppose. And really, I guess we solved that answer. That no, Ponsalea does not dominate at every range. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. I sure had fun casting it. I will see you next time. Goodbye.